If you follow the news, you're probably aware of the latest bio threat. If you avoid the media, or live in a cave, this short film should bring you up to speed. More frightening than these Hollywood horrors. More real than a cinematic nightmare. They come for you. They come without warning. They're huge. And they number in the millions. There's no escape from Zika Terror. That was terrible. Let's try something different. Oh, bugger. Okay then. About two years after VJ Day, and well before this guy started having people for dinner, Rockefeller Foundation funded researchers placed monkeys like this, in cages like this, on platforms like this, at an outpost in Uganda in a forest called Zika. These researchers were looking for the yellow fever virus, a catchy little number that was all the rage in 1947. The conscripted monkeys did their part, samples were drawn, and the yellow fever virus was isolated, along with a few others, including one previously unknown that they named Zika. Since it wasn't what they were looking for, the researchers set it aside for six years before turning it over to these guys, where it was carefully packaged and archived for later. The research did lead to a yellow fever vaccine, but nothing for Zika. Time passed, populations grew, the world became smaller, and travel became faster, cheaper, and more popular. People started moving around and so did Zika, which found very friendly habitats in lots of warm, wet places. Still, despite increasing outbreaks of Zika, not much thought was given to develop a vaccine. That's a shame as the symptoms are unpleasant enough and there seems to be a correlation with Zika and a rather distressing birth defect. Zika became newsworthy in the U.S. with the 2016 Olympics in Rio, where Zika is rampant and U.S. visitors were expected in great numbers. As you might expect, travelers brought Zika back to the States, and Florida now shows infected mosquitoes. Perhaps in an effort to build a malleable voter base, Congress has been reluctant to authorize funding for vaccine research. And even if funding were released right now, a vaccine would not be expected until 2018 at the earliest. The situation doesn't look promising. So what is a vacationer to do? Well, before implementing extreme measures, be aware that along with medals and television revenue, the Olympics has also generated some guidelines for fighting the Zika menace. First, know your body. The biggest fear seems to be the possible birth defects tentatively associated with the disease. If you are pregnant, it might be wise to avoid the trip to the tropical states until after delivery. If you don't know you're pregnant, there are handy tests that you can take. Do a few of them over time to be sure. Second, use preventative measures. Insect repellent with DEET is recommended by the CDC as being most effective, but there are many on the market and you should go with something you find effective and trust. CDC also recommends wearing long-sleeved shirts and long pants when possible. Third, make use of mosquito netting. It comes in sizes from house to personal and can be an effective barrier when bug spray just isn't appropriate. Outside the home, you might augment screens with other methods of area-wide mosquito control. Fourth, there are plenty of singles who travel to mingle. If you are one of those who are a love magnet to the opposite sex, be aware that Zika has been shown to be sexually transmitted. It's only contagious for a couple of weeks, so give it a rest between party partners. 
at very least, use condoms. Really, you can have fun with them. I was going to close with the consoling thought that mosquito season must end at some point, but it seems that isn't always the case. The 2015 season rolled right through into 2016 in some areas and may carry on through next year unless the winter actually gets cold in the Gulf states. It makes for a tough decision. Freeze in the Arctic North or travel south and wear bug spray. You'll have to make that call yourself. I know which way I'd decide because really, even with mosquitoes, you know winter's better in Florida.